So we're going to be drawing this stuff in third angle projection. Now we're going to be looking at this block from this direction here, okay? Okay. And the first thing I want to do is that we're going to take note of our total length here. Total length here is 75. I will come with that 75, okay? 75. And I will mark 75. Alright. And then the total height. Total height. Let's calculate. This is 15. 15. Okay. This is 20. Not 25. This is 20. 15 plus 20. That will give you 35. The total height is 35. Okay. So I'll come down here and mark 35. So the same thing to this part. I'll draw. This part here, I'll come up with how many? 15. And here to come up with 15 too. So I'm coming up with 15. And I'll literally join the two points together. Alright. Now, aside this, we are also giving this part here, okay? This part, and this is, third length here is 35. 35, okay? And the height here is 20. Now, from here, this is 20. So, from here, this here will be 20, okay? So we'll move 20. So, I'll move 20 here. That is 2 cm. From here, I'll now move up, which is uh, and 20 cm. So, see it. Automatically, that is the advantage of getting our total length first. Now I've gotten moved up here, okay. So I'll go to the left by 35. With 35, I'll go towards the left. 35. Now I'll come down with 20. Now I'll come down with 20. Now still on the front view from this direction, okay. I will still see this part of the triangle. Now I will join this top to the bottom. And I told you in orthographic, anything that is inside tends to come towards the outside. Now, we saw that there is also a small box. This part here will also be seen, okay? But if you look at this from this direction, this part here will be hidden. So we'll depict this part now with broken lines. Now, it's a distance from 5mm from this line, okay? From here, 5mm, 5mm, okay? That is 0.5cm. And then the depth of this is 20, okay? Depth of this is 20. Now this is what we'll do. First of all, we'll move 0.5 cm on both sides. This is 0.5, 0.5. Okay, let's make this depth 25. I have reasons, sorry. So I'll move the depth of 25. Now that will be all for our front view. Now let's move over to the side view. This side view. Now remember, in that angle projection, we are placing front, side, and top. Okay. But I would like to elongate all my lines towards the side view. Okay. Now side total length of side view is fifty. Okay. So from here, I'll mark fifty. The height here is 15. I don't to measure. I'll just trace this height here, okay? So it's giving me 15. 15. And 15 here soon. And I'll close. Now, I also need to get this part here, this part of it, and then this. Now, but since this is from the side view, it's like that, it will tend to look like a straight line. But first of all, let me get this. Now, the time between here to here is 10. Here to here is 10. So I move 10, 10 each from each side. That is 1, 1 cm from each side. This is 1 cm. This is 1 cm. And then I'll go up with height of 20. Height of 20. Now, on this part here, okay, this stuff is in the middle of this, which is 10. So I'll measure my midpoint. This is 5, midpoint will be 2.5, okay? So this is 10. From the midpoint, I'll go 5, 5 each. From the midpoint here, I'll be going 0 0.5, 0 0.5 each. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 each. Then I'll draw it to the top. Yes, I haven't done that. Now remember, this part is also 
part of our side view from, from this side I also see it okay but it, it appears broken lines now let's depict it now remember this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay from this side so on this one here I'm coming 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 now remember the depth the depth is 25 millimeter so let me measure it to that I already measured this depth and I'm getting it already so I'll just um, draw it straight to that line and let's get to our top view okay so to draw the top view I'm going to do some elongation now this is what I want to do I'll place my metal rule this way okay and then place this this way then 45 degree set square I will draw this line then I will elongate it towards the top Touch the line. This one, so let's draw this rectangle down, okay. So to draw the rectangle down, this is 50, 75, automatically here is already 75, here is already 50, okay? So I'll just stick in it. This is the advantages of elongating. Now, we will draw this box, okay? The one on top, the exterior one. So I'll just have to trace. At this point here, and I said to, to, to do the measurements, that is the one. Here's already one already. On this line here, I'll trace it, then trace it where this other one to meet. Okay, they meet here. Okay, on, on this line, so trace the other end, they meet here. Okay, on this one, trace, they meet here, and trace the other one, they meet here. Now, I want to join all those four points together. Okay, having done that, and let's get this one in the center. So how do you do that? We choose these broken lines, okay? Broken lines where the first meets. Oh, I didn't elongate that for this part. Let me quickly do that. Okay. Now I will trace where it meets. Okay, I'll mark there, trace it again to where it's the one to meet. I mark, I'll join it straight. Okay, this part here, trace where it meets, mark, trace here to where it meets, mark. Okay. Now, having completed that, but now you're done yet, this many part of it. Out of the front view, okay. And from the center, this is 10 10. Now, I don't actually need to measure this, I can just elongate, pull my elongation this center, this part here. From here, this part. So I just draw it straight and then I draw it straight. Now, this is the total and final look for our top view. Now, let me dimension it so that it will look much more beautiful and much more attractive. So guys, after dimensioning, this is how the orthographic view looks like in the angle projection. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe for more educational content like this. And now, if you want to know how to apply the same techniques for first angle projection, then click on this video above. That's the next phase.